Good morning everyone, this is Bremster and I'm continuing with the Hamilton Sudoku series. Think of this as a puzzle pack, a themed puzzle pack in video form. Um, if you're not interested in the musical or musicals at all, just enjoy the puzzles. The knowledge of the musical or anything is not required to solve the puzzles. Just treat them as mostly approachable Sudoku puzzles. Um, so if you are interested in the theme, so what I'm, my life has basically revolved around two things for most of 2023 so far. Uh, the first one has been my involvement with the musical Hamilton, and the second one has been the passing of my father, um, who spent most of his last months talking to me and wanting and getting involved with Hamilton himself. So it's been a very important part of my life. So, um, I want to thank all of the anonymous setters who have been involved in putting this pack together. Um, they wanted to contribute a series of puzzles that I could do. Um, I'm recording at this point a fortnight in advance um, because I've got a whole bunch of events coming up um, to do with both the passing of my father and the show. So um, yeah, my life is just hectic right now. So I'm taking a couple of days to just record a lot of videos so that the channel will continue to get content. So um, if the Sudoku world has exploded in the last five days and I'm not talking about it, then that's because I have no idea yet. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at this puzzle. Some Get Half As Many by Alexander Hamilton from my shot. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. We have killer cages. Um, so in these cages, the digits that are placed in the cages will sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. I will probably be using the killer calculator on this. We'll see how we go. And then we've got these black dots, which are ratio dots, which means that the digits in these um, cells separated by black dots must be in a one to two ratio, or one must be double the other. Um, not all dots are necessarily given. So it might be perfectly fine for those two cells to be in a one to two ratio. I have no idea. So that's what we know. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer and let's give this a shot. There's a million things I haven't done. Um, just you wait. So, um... Yeah, trying to come up with Hamilton references at the moment is really, really tricky, so I'm probably going to stop to it. 24 and 3 is 7, 8, 9. They are the uh, maximum digits, Sudoku digits, and 7 plus 8 is 15, plus 9 is 24. So I know these are 7, 8, and 9. This is a 2 or a 4, because this is a run of three black dots, um, and you can never use 5, 7, or 9 on a black dot at all. Um, if you use 3, 6, they're only in a partnership with each other, so this would go 3, 6, 3, or 636, which is broken. So these have to be from 1, 2, 4, and 8. And if I put a 1 in the middle, both of those are 2. And if I put an 8 in the middle, those both of those are... Um, I've lost track. If 1, both of those are 2, 8, both of those are 4. So that doesn't work. So it has to go 1, 2, 4, or 2, 4, 8 in one direction. Now, if it goes 1, 2, 4, that is 7, and these would have to be 11. If it goes 2, 4, 8, then this is 14, and those would have to sum to 4, which would be 1 and 3. So if this is two, if this has to sum to eleven, without using one, two, or four, so nine, two doesn't work. Eight, three does. Seven, four doesn't. Six, five does. So there's a few options there. I'm not sure where to start on these. So maybe what I want to look at is these. Like, what could this be? If this is 1, 2, then this is 6. If this is 2, 4, then that is 6 and this is 3. If this is 3, 6, this is already broken because that would have to be 0 and 4, 8 is broken. So this must have a 2 on it. Okay, that's interesting. So I can't use a 2 on this dot. So this can't be 1, 2 or 2, 4. If this is 3, 6, then that's 9, and this is 4. And if this is 4, 8, then this is 12, and this is 1. Is this the way to go? So there must be a 2 on here for the same reason. This is 1, 2, 4, and this is 3, 6, giving me a 3, 6 pair in the column. This is 1, 2, 4, and must have a 2 on it, and this is 3, 6. Now, this one is different. Because these cages were all the same. So if this is 1, 2, then 3 plus 8 
whoops, eight. If this is two, four, then that's six and this is five. If this is four, eight, then that's 12 and that's broken. But if this is three, six, this is two. So either way, there's, whoops. I need to do that again. No, I just need to roll that back because I'd put a three in there instead of a two. Either way, there is a two in that cage because if this is, and this wasn't five, it was six. So if this is one, two, one, two makes this eight, two, four makes this five, three, six makes this two. Either way, there's a two in there. So this is the two and this is not the two. So this is the two and this is not the two. which means there's a two in one of those two, but there has to be a two and a four in here. So this is a two. And that's just because when you've got a run of one, two, four, or two, four, eight, there's a two and a four in it. So this is a two. So this is a one or a four. Interesting. So there's a two in one of those two. I mean, do I just have to do this for all of the cages? I am very confused. So what can this be? If it's one, two, this would be 11. So that's not gonna work. If it's two, four, two, four, that's six, this would be eight. If it's four, eight, it would have to be eight, four. That's 12 and this would be two, it can't be eight, four. And if this is three, six, it can't be three, six, because that would break that. This has to be two, four, Eight, which means this is one, which means this is six, which means this is four, which means this is three, which means this is six, which means this is one, two. That's really clever. There's no two in here, which means this isn't three, six. And it's not one, two, because there's no one. This is two, four. So the two, four means this is six, this is five. This is really clever. I'm still not sure I'm wrapping my head around it fully. Three, six makes this four, four, eight makes this one. This is a triple though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this can't be five or one. This is the three and there's no three in here. The one makes this five, this becomes one, which takes one out of both of those. This becomes two, four, eight, which means these sum to 14. So these have to sum to four and they become one and three. This is absolutely weird. This one makes this four. Five is in one of those two. One is in one of those two, two, three, four, five, six. This is a one, six pair because six can't go in any of those and one can't go in any of those. So this is seven, eight, nine, and it's no eight. So that eight is in here and not here. This is weird, I like it. So what about these? This can't be one, two, because it would break that plus math. If it's two, four, that'd be six. This would have to be 11. So it's not two, four. If it's three, six, this would be nine and this would be eight. 
And if it's 4, 8, it can't be 4, 8. This has to be 3, 6, and 8. It can't be 4, 8 because I can't put 4 in either of those cells. So 1, 2, and 2, 4 don't work by math. And 3, 6, and 4, yeah, I can't put 2 or 4 in. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. So this is 3, 6, and then 8, which means there's no 3, 6, or 8 here. This becomes the 4, this becomes the 1. 5 plus 8 is 13. The 1 makes this 6 and this 1. I should have looked at that earlier. There's no 8 there. This becomes the 8. The 4 makes this the 2 and this the 4. This is very cool. There is a 3 right there by Sudoku. This is a triple now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 9. Not sure what that's doing for me. That's the 7, though, because where does 7 go in this box when that 7 knocks it out of all of those? So there's no 7 there. That's a 5 or a 9. So this is a triple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5, and 9. There's no 1 there. There's no 5 there. But if this is 1, 5, and 9, this is the 2, and this is the 1. That means that the 2, and this not the 2. And this is a pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 and 6, and that 4 will give me the order. 6 and 4. This is now 5 or 9, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, this is 5 or 9. So 1 is in one of those two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Is in, this is a 1, 8 pair, because I can't put 1 or 8 in that cell because of the 8 pair there and the 1 there. So this is a 5 or a 9. So this is not 5, this is the 5, and this is a known pair. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'll use that 6 to resolve it. 3 and 6. This is cool. 5, 6, this is 7, 8, 9. This is 7 or 9 from the column. 8 is in one of those two. This is very cool. What have I missed for resolving that? Not sure yet. I've got to put a 3 in this row. Can't put it in those, can't put it in those. That's a one, and there's a three looking at that. So that's the three. This is five, seven, or nine. I've kind of done all the cages and everything now, haven't I? So I'm now just down to Sudoku. Uh, I've got to put a three in this cage. So this is seven or nine. I'm a little worried about being down to just Sudoku. One, two, three, four, five is in one of those two. Six is in one of those two. Seven and nine are kind of in any of them. That's not great. Oh, this three. It made this one and this three. That one looks back making that eight and that one. That means this is not the 8, this is the 8. This 2 looks up making this 8 and this 2. So 8 in this box is in one of those 2 and in this box is in one of those 2. That's not what I'm looking for. One Ah, where does 1 go in box 8? Because it can't go in those, and that one is knocking it out of there, and that's a 2. So that's a 1, which means that's a 9. That's This is a 5, and this is a 1. That 9 makes that 7, and that 9, and that 7, and that 9, and that 7, and that 9. The 7 takes 7 out of there, making that 7. This 9 takes 9 out of those. This is a 6-7 pair, which takes 7 out of those. Okay, this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, seven, and eight. There's no four in the middle. There's no eight there. But four, seven, eight takes seven out of there, which I could have used that seven for, but I didn't. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll use that four. So this becomes the six. This becomes the four. 
That takes four out of there. That seven, eight pair makes that four. But this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, eight, and nine. Well, there's no eight there, which I already had from those pencil marks. There's no three there. This is a nine. And this three makes this eight and this three. The eight looks up making that seven and that eight. The seven looks down making that five and that seven. The five looks up making that nine, that five, that nine, that five, that nine. This nine looks up making this five and this nine. And now this triple is going to resolve this, surely. Because, I uh, know oh that seven does it. This is six, this is seven. Now I need to put two in here, which has to go in the middle. Three, four, five has to go there. And then I need a six. And hey, my grid is pretty great. That is cool. Definitely didn't throw away my shot on that one. Um, and I know there's more puzzles coming from my shot, which is always going to be fun. Um, I'm not going to monologue at you, even though I kind of want to. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the puzzles. I hope you're enjoying the channel content. Um, I've tried to do some other stuff um, on the Bremster Gaming channel, um, or at least I'm planning to do some other stuff on the Bremster Gaming channel. Um, I'm basically just taking everything a day at the time, a time at the moment. As I said, you're seeing this a couple of weeks after I've recorded it. So you'll have more of an idea of what I've been doing than I do. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, and as always, Good luck with your solving.